If you're watching this, kindly note that this is a podcast which will be an audio throughout where I interview an A student by the name of Kutama Mukundi, who is a Vena lady all the way from Limpompo. She's going to share with you guys on her success journey all the way from childhood up until now on how she became an A student, you know, sharing some tips and some advices there and there. So if this video is this audio video by the way is for you then just keep on watching uh keep on listening by the way <laughs> um i'm sorry if you expected a video but unfortunately we couldn't do a video but this audio should help a lot keep on watching and stay tuned hi mukundi how are you doing uh thank you so much for tuning in um today i just wanted you to share your story you know on how are you coping with grade 12 um probably some learners out there would really learn a thing or two about you because you actually um a hard-working student you know uh, some people mistake um intelligent students with hard work they don't think you also have to apply hard work irrespective of whether you're intelligent smart or whichever you know whichever term one can describe themselves so i would really like you to you know, to really share your tips on how you go about your grade 12, because now you're doing grade 12 and, um, you know, and how you study, you know, how you manage your time, how do you get your A's, you know, which I feel like each and every learner would really benefit from these type of questions, you know. Anyways, um, without speaking too much, can you please introduce yourself, you know, just a little bit of introduction on who you are, where you're from, and which grade, as I said, is grade 12, but you know, just a little intro for everyone to know who Mugundi is. Hi everyone, my name is Mugundi Kutama, and I'm doing grade 12. I'm a Venda girl, and I would really, really appreciate, I really appreciate the time that you're taking to interview me, of course. So I'm a very humble person, and. I believe that if you want to be excellent in your academics, then you can do it by yourself. So you need support from your, your family and also from God, most importantly, God. So that's where it starts for me. Have your support system because grade 12 is hectic, guys. I mean, we know that, right? Well, um, I really like what you just mentioned. You know, you said uh, the importance of support, you know, from god firstly and your parents you know and i'd like to know um regarding your parents like um i'm sure your parents have high expectations over you you know how do you how do you balance that with the little support that they give you you know because i'm sure they make sure that you get um extra lessons they make sure that you you know, you don't have to do a lot of chores at home, you know, so that you'll be able to focus on your studies. Um, I'm sure that, you know, the fact that they they allow you room to be able to focus on your studies, that on its own is pressure, right? So how do you deal with pressure? Because there's definitely going to be high expectations over you, you know, towards the end of the year, I assume. So how do you deal with that? Okay, I'm, I'm just going to be honest and tell my story. So with me, if ever I find that any tax that I've written, I found it to be challenging or hard, I know that they already have high expectations uh, and I don't want to disappoint them. So I don't let myself go through the hard grade 12 task alone. I tell them, tell them that, mom, I know that you want me to do really well, but I need you to remember that it's it's also hard for me. Like. I am trying my level best so that I don't put too much pressure on myself trying to get to what they want me to get so they know that I'm struggling. And as parents, like I said, they are supportive, right? So when they are aware that I'm struggling, that's when they come in. That's when they advise me on how to do start certain stuff better because I still remember I didn't want to do a mess extra class because I was like, nah, I'm fine. I'll be able to manage. But I realized that I'm struggling, okay? I'm struggling, literally not really struggling, but you know what I mean? I wanted to get A's, of course. So they were like, Mkundi, no, you need to like 
balance it out, go to extra classes, we don't mind, we'll pay. And if you need anything, we'll buy any textbooks that you want. They only doing those matches because I made them aware that I'm struggling. So if ever you stressed out that your parents have high expectations, tell them they are your parents. I mean, who is supposed to talk to? Tell them that you are facing difficulties and you'll realize and begin to see that those people are there for you. You don't have to do it alone, you know. Wow, uh, you know, you know what's funny is you kept on saying, I struggle, I struggle, I struggle. And when I think about Mukundi, I'm like, oh, what do you mean you struggle? Because from what I've seen, you've been doing really well. <laughs> Anyways, um, you mentioned something important regarding letting your parents know on, you know, your personal issues, you know, on what you're struggling with, you know, so that you don't get to regret towards the end of the year, you know like making sure you get all the extra lessons and if maybe you're missing any material um you ask so that they can get it for you you know there's one learner out there who is really struggling who didn't do well in their march exams you know their report is messed up and they really wanna you know receive that help where should they start if maybe their parents don't have that capacity to to pay a tutor you know to to get them extra lessons they don't have that money to buy extra textbooks you know what should that learner do you know if maybe you were to put yourself in their shoes where should they start you know in order for them to really get their assistance you know to avoid regretting towards the end of the year let me just start by saying that's a very good question like not all of us can afford textbooks and get go to extra classes but if you're listening to this you are on a youtube channel right now that offers miss um classes to grade 12 so if you are here use this platform like guys i'm not saying this just because i am being interviewed here because i've seen how easy it is to understand topics here on this youtube channel so use this channel to help yourself okay you don't have to go to some extra classes if you got a class here on youtube i mean it's life made simpler so use academic e-learning to get your meds to improve and also it's not that with the textbooks that you get or extra guys that we get it means you're gonna get good marks i mean give yourself time and actually study to understand whatever textbook you're using okay and also practice ask your teachers i mean don't think that just because you don't have an extra class or you can't afford one, it means that you won't improve. And also term one is just, I think it's the easiest one, I think. And you've only covered like less than a quarter of the content that you need to cover. So I'd advise you to say, go back to term one and master each and every topic that you feel that you struggled with because it's going to come back, guys. It's going to come back on your finals. I mean, I don't want you to be um, studying term one content that you didn't master on your finals because you have to master it. You are going to be questioning the exact same thing. So go back, try again and master it and then get to cover, use your holiday to cover for term two work because we have a lot of work. We all know it. Wow. I really hope everyone is dotting down those um, points from you because they're really important, you know? And I'm sure everyone is wondering, but come on, guys, who is Mugundi, you know? Uh, we want to know how well she's performing. I'm re I really want to know uh, this uh, lady out here. Can you please just give us a glimpse on how you've been performing from last year, grade 11? Or you can just give us um, a little bit of history because people think that we, we just rise and become intelligent and just perform well but there's always a story behind it you know we don't just wake up and get good grades in maths or science but there's always steps you know please just a little bit of background on how you you came from the lowest of marks to where you are today which i believe will inspire a lot of young people out there to also not give up on themselves you know and don't think that oh no god didn't give me a gift of being smart of doing well but no god gave us everything you know god gave us the mind the brain to think you know please just give give us that little background on your academics specifically 
So where do I start? Where do I start? Okay, I think when I was younger then, I, I would, I would I want to say that I was stupid, but I was a very non-academic person. I mean, I was never the person that grew up having known everything, always wanting to study and stuff. Because even at crazy guys, I, I used to struggle, couldn't write my name. I hated it. So and then it went to like, went to a private school. And imagine going from a private school going to this, from imagine going from like a public school to a private one where you're, like, you're not used to everything that happens there. But I think that was like a life changing decision that my parents made for me. So I, I consider myself very lucky to have gotten that. But still, I was struggling. I was getting 50s on life skills, I think. They call it life orientation for us now. And I just never really cared about academics. But then, 2017, my sister was doing grade 12. And we used to share a room together, I still remember. So she used to paste newspapers of metric results. To see, I would see that there's um, national achievers, top achievers in our province, in other provinces. And that got me thinking, who are these people? Like, how do they do this? So I became so much interested into their success. I mean, I wanted that for myself. And I thought, what is it that I don't have that these people have? And I realized that it's not only in being smart, but in also working hard. Because I wasn't smart then, but then I knew that I could work myself and I could get there, hopefully. Of which I think I tried and uh, I went from like being the, like I got a certificate from a public school, guys. Like I had never, I think it was my first thing with six because I was highly motivated knowing that it's very possible for somebody to go from like down there to up there. Yeah, like imagine going from not being able to write your name in crash, okay, going to like position, ah, even position I was 18 in grade one, like now you can, you wouldn't even tell that I used to like be that bad at school, so work and, and also don't give up because if I, I thought that I was stupid and I couldn't improve, then I don't think I'll be where I am today. And also when I was in grade 11, like the improvement that I had, let's just say that I got 87% average last year and this year term one, although I'm not really satisfied, I really need to still push. I got an average of 92%, but that doesn't mean that I have to be comfortable and stay there because there's June and June can make you drop, like really drop. So to anyone out there who thinks that they are struggling, they will never be smart. I am not smart guys. I work. And I give myself time to work and I let, I, I, I remove any distractions. Like I didn't even have WhatsApp, like me or WhatsApp. I don't do that because I believe that in grade 12, my time should be books for books and studying so that I don't have to do a lot of content when I have to write exams. Wow. Thank you so much Mukundi for sharing your background story on your academic journey. It's really really helpful and I'm sure there are learners out there who are looking up to you and they can pinpoint some of the things that you know they they share in common with you you know and they'll probably take one or two things from what you just shared and help them get good grades um fortunately I have to let you go you have to go and study um but thank you so much for giving uh, us your time you know to interview you and really get to the 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 deep uh meaning of uh the terms intelligence you know smart because people tend to confuse them they think we're just born smart we're born intelligent but it also takes hard work to get to those you know levels you know in academics thank you so much i really appreciate your time uh thank you so much for tuning in on academy e-learning um hoping you guys enjoy the interview if you have any questions that you'd like to ask mukundi please write them down in the comment section below otherwise please subscribe to the channel and click that like button